Okay, so first and foremost, <laughs> look where we are. We are in <laughs> the metaverse. This is, uh, this is for you, just for you to know, this is my first time ever doing any kind of metaverse interview. So this is a, a, a experience for me. So right. I'm very excited. Um, I'm so glad to be talking to you. And while we, you know, are getting into the subject, like, talk to me a little bit about what the, uh, what this series means for people who still don't even know what a metaverse is. Yeah, so the metaverse is pretty much just a 3D virtual experience. And to keep it in the simplest form, because I feel like I'm also new to this as well. And at first I was like, what is this? But once you're in it, it's like, oh, it might feel off a little bit because it's a, it's a new world. It's something we're all mm -hmm. getting used to. But the cool part of it is that we adapt as we go. Um, so yeah, it's just a 3D virtual experience that you really don't experience in the physical world. And it, it can be amplified. It can be pretty much whatever you want. And I think that's the cool part of it. It's just like, it can just be anything. Like use your wildest yeah. imagination and create that world. Yeah. Yeah. And then with the culture series specifically, you guys, are you y'all attack, y'all tackling different avenues that are being ignored in ways, overshadowed in ways, and you're really highlighting that. So what was one of some, or one of the things or some of the things that, uh, were triggering moments that made you say like, yo, we need culture in these th virtual spaces. This, <clears throat> sorry, this, this experience, um, again, cause I am new to this world, but I, it really didn't hit me until I saw the impact that Nuevo Norte had um, and the specifics that it had um, and how much I can relate to it, which was beautiful um, to think that we all have different experiences, but we still share the same story in some type of way with different like Latinx artists, just Latinx human beings. It's beautiful because I can relate to it so much. Like in the small details at that was just like, this is, this is, we need this. We need this. We need to be a part of the conversation. We need to be at the table. Um, if we're not the table, let's build a table. Like, let's just do something, <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. And then with the, um, and, Correct me if I'm saying it wrong, yeah. but the Tessera Cotola series, that, um, yeah. well, how do you hit that specifically? And what do you add into that? And how did y'all even get started with that? Yeah, so Tercera Cultura, um, and it was so cool because Danielle over at Meta explained this in one of our interviews. So it's pretty much my parents' culture, their upbringing, now how they explained their, whatever they were raised on to me and how I interpreted mm. that, which is mind blowing because I really don't think about it until you actually put a name to it. So it's like, mm -hmm. I'm like pretty much bringing all these like the same culture, but still like in like just different avenues. And it's just so mm -hmm. interesting because we don't think about it like that. Well, I don't think about it like that until we put a name on it. So it was just pretty cool like to really like interpret like, cause there's a lot of things that we don't really relate to when it comes to our parents' generation. My parents are from the Dominican Republic and very religious, very um, machismo. Like it's just like, it's just different. Mm -hmm. So to experience that, and interpreted in my form, it was beautiful because we all understood the language without even saying anything. And that was so yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. And in you as a photographer, that's how you translate in general is like you use imagery to kind of make words and make thoughts out of just something that's still. Yeah. And um, with, but with this VR experience, you're able to take your photography and really make it an immersive experience and really yeah. make it something that you can like spin around and see this and you can almost reach out and want right. to grab and for you like that almost enhances the photography experience oh, and yeah. kind of you know advances you as a photographer and so talk to me a little bit about just how that how this just the advancements in vr and ar is kind of benefiting you as a photographer yeah, I think the opportunities are endless when it comes to photography and VR. Um, like my mind will even go as crazy as like creating a world of just like all of my work by Amplified and stepping into that world. Mm -hmm. Like just like being interactive with it. And I think that's and that's the cool part of, about the VR world, about metaverse. It's amplifying the voices and just using your wild imagination because there is an endless amount of things you can get into when it comes to this world and adapting with the times. Like, again, mm -hmm. I grew up around the time where like I started with Instagram, with Meta. I, that, that was like my beginning. So to see like mm -hmm. the evolution of it all, adapt to it. Like things are changing, things are evolving, but it's cool. And it's gonna, and, and as far as, long as it can like amplify my voice and we can have conversations like this, I'm with it. I'm totally with this. So let's just keep on doing it. <laughs> 
that yeah. part. And you kind of lead me into my next question because, you know, um, when I was getting the briefing for like just the Tessera Cotura series and everything like that, um, one of the things that they used in the, um, in the, I guess the uh, press release was that we are in the dial up stage of metaverse. And yeah. I thought that was such an amazing way to describe it because it's like we're in those beginning stages. Yeah. But if you think about where dial up internet started and where right. we are now, just in a matter of like, let's say 20 years to mm -hmm. think about where we could be in the metaverse in 20 years, it's almost like unimaginable. But I kind of want you to think about that for a little bit. So if you could think of five things that you would like to see, whether it's in photography or whether it's in society or in general, um, maybe you could base it on your career specifically. Yeah. But what are some things that you want to see the metaverse kind of expand and, and make, uh, like, you know, just advance life? Like, how, what, how do you see the, like, what do you think those five things could be? Um, I would say just a continuation, like moments like this, where we can just have different communities talk about their experiences and how we can amplify our voices and like, um, just the continuation of that. Um, I want to see just more, more of my people, more of my black Latinos, my gay people, like, just like, it just, I want it to feel natural. And I think that's the beginning of it all is again, coming back to the whole dial up of the situation. Mm -hmm. where we're a part of the conversation we're a part of the 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 trial and error part of it all and i think that's the cool part of it all but i think yeah just the continuation of all of that and it's going to be an endless amount of opportunities for all of us in this space so yeah, i don't think i could think of five but i think those three definitely like are huge and can like can like, just make this more because i feel like a lot of i'll speak for myself my family's be like, they're like Juan, we're not we're not gonna do that but I think it, mm -hmm. it takes someone like me to be like, yo, like we can do this. It's not that hard. Um, mm -hmm. It might be uncomfortable at first. It might be different, um, but let's adapt to it. Let's adapt to it. We adapt to social media <laughs> mm -hmm. and that was different, right? So I think mm -hmm. the cool part of it all is just continue, like, continuing the conversation and just making it comfortable. And it takes someone like me, someone like COVID to just like, create a world where we can just experience something where it's natural. So yeah, just making like the space more comfortable and more relatable. I think that's what it is, yeah. Absolutely. And uh, I just have one final question yeah. um, with this series. Um, and, and it kind of ties back to something that uh, were that just recently happened in culture, which was the release of Black Panther 2. Mm -hmm. And um, not to do any spoilers, you could go to Black America <laughs> Web to read my review. But uh, what you but one of the things about that movie was that the, the one of the main tropes was that there was these two POC and they were going against each other mm -hmm. and they come to realize that no we're actually like stronger together and um what is and i think that with this series and even this interview you know we cover primarily black entertainment black culture yeah. but we always want to open that avenue for the poc environment because Absolutely. we are family out here you Absolutely. know what i mean and so what is, with this series what is the what is one of your biggest hopes um that you want to get out there you want to put out in the world and hopefully inspire the poc communities out there yeah um what's crazy is that i watched the movie twice um Hello. and i read and i exactly i read the room when there were moments and not to spoil anything i read the room when it was moments where we could have been pit against each other and there were moments where we were like uh what are we doing like this mm -hmm. is, is it like we yeah stay over there we stay over here but there was a moment where we came together and it was like, yo, come on. Like this, this is so much bigger than us. Like we can pretty much take over the world once you come together. And I think that's the beauty of this space right now. And there is shift happening in, within the industry where let's come together. Let's come together because we're so much stronger together. Like, come on. And as someone who identifies as Afro-Latino, um, I know my roots. I know where I come from. And I always want to be a part of the conversation, uplifting the conversation, because at the end of the day, we're all we got. And they're trying to take us out the table. And again, we're not going to we're not leaving. We're not going anywhere. So get used to it. Um, and moments like this, like we're literally here. I'm a black Latino in a space where I would have never thought of. So use me as a testimony. Use me as a, a as as an example. It's possible. It's very much possible. And we're here. We're honestly not going nowhere. So just get used to it. <laughs> I love that. All right. So just to close it out, can we just get one? This is like a uh, metaverse first. Can we get one high five? Can we try to make that happen? Yes. Because they taught try. me how to do it. Let's see if we can do it. 
One, two, three. Ah, we did it! <laughs> All so right, y'all. Cool. Thank you so much for tuning in. That was so cool. That was a perfect way to end it. <laughs> thank you so much, man. It was so nice talking to you. <laughs> thank you so much.